We have new insight into which actors and movies are gaining momentum ahead of the Oscars. The annual Screen Actors Guild Awards took place Sunday night in Los Angeles, honoring the best in TV and film. Ben Tracy shows us why the SAG Awards may be the best indicator of who will take home the Oscars next month. All I ever wanted to be was Scarlett O'Hara. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Aniston, and I'm an actor. There was no doubt that this award show was all about the actors. Wow, to the cast of Birdman. The cast of Michael Keaton's Birdman took home the highest honor, Best Film Ensemble. It's uh, the ultimate team sport, what we do for a living. True, but only one man can win, and when it came to Best Film Actor... Eddie Redmayne. It was Eddie Redmayne who snagged the SAG for his portrayal of Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything, the scientist living with ALS. I would like to dedicate this award, uh, this very wonderful skinny man, um, to those people around the world living with ALS. The SAG Awards are an important predictor of the Academy Awards because members of the Screen Actors Guild account for nearly 20% of Oscar voters. So Julianne Moore and Patricia Arquette, who both won in the actress categories, are considered frontrunners on Oscar Sunday. I am proud to present the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award to my mother. Carrie Fisher kept it all in the family, handing her mom, the 82-year-old Debbie Reynolds, SAG's Lifetime Achievement Award for 66 years in show business. In the TV categories, the color of the night was... Orange is the new black. The Netflix prison comedy won for Best Cast, and Uzo Aduba won Best Actress for her role as Suzanne Warren, a.k.a. Crazy Eyes. I'm just saying those girls need to learn some manners. Mm, I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Fork on the left, knife on the right. The day I got this job was the day I had stopped acting. And to be in a room with all of you amazing human beings is really, truly the greatest honor. Ben Tracy, Los Angeles. Okay, so did you vote? Did you catch any of it? I, I didn't catch any of the awards, but I, I mean, I've seen Crazy Eyes and I've seen some of the movies. Did you vote? I didn't vote. You know why I didn't? Because we are SAG members, we're allowed to vote. Yeah. But I didn't because I didn't see all of the movies that were up and I didn't think it would be fair. But Redmayne, I mean, his portrayal of Stephen Hawking was amazing. He's kind of swept everything so far. Yeah. And probably going to mm -hmm. continue to do so. Uh, a published report.